As much as there are dog fans, there are those who are crazy about cats. Both animals indeed have a lot of great features. Cats know how to heal joint pains and relieve stress with their measured purr, while dogs guard the house against enemies and even help people in trouble. In this video, we will help you decide which of these pets will be the best option for you. The Pros and Cons of Cats Number 1. Keeping a cat costs the owner less than keeping a dog, except for pocket breeds that eat little. We can agree that any cat, even a big Maine Coon, will consume less compared to, for example, an Alibi or a German Shepherd. Besides, these animals are exceptionally clean and neat. It is believed that they spend 30-40% to 40 of their waking time washing their fur. These procedures prevent an unpleasant smell from the animal in the house. Number 2. Cats are usually humble. Yeah, a lot of them may like affection, but in reasonably limited amounts. Usually, these little creatures know how to entertain themselves, while dogs require a lot more time and attention. Buying a cat in the first place, you can be sure that communication will not take much time. Number 3. Cats keep the house from undesirable guests in the face of rats or mice, which often annoy owners of private homes. Some whiskers even catch cockroaches and centipedes. Number 4. Cats can be safely left in the apartment for a couple of hours or even a day if they have access to water and food. After eating, the pet is likely to curl up and nap. This feature can be important for busy people who do not spend much time at home. You can't say the same for dogs, since leaving them alone for long can be very stressful for the animal. Number 5. Cats can medically treat the owner. And it's not a myth. It really is proven by science. Sound therapy of any cat, regardless of the breed, contributes to the rapid formation of bones and healing of diseased joints, reduces heart pain and respiratory problems, relieves inflammation, and can even bring its owner out of depression. Well, cats have a lot of advantages, and now we even know which ones, but these animals have disadvantages, which we will list below. Number one, cats are very stubborn and arrogant. Unlike dogs, they may not respect their owner at all. It is very common for domestic cats to have a dominant character where they try to do everything against the owner. Sometimes it even looks like they are trying to make your life miserable on purpose. Sleep in a bed instead of on their beds, pee not in the tray and under the bed. Number two, games with cats often end badly, namely scratches and bites, and they can hurt both an outsider and their owner if he, say, touched his tail or stroke a little longer than it was possible. Number three, cats can't stand traveling. Being in a car or public transport can be stressful for them. Many cats scream loudly while staying in the car, tend to run away, and scratch their owner's hands. Dogs are much more patient and calm in this regard. Number four, almost all cats are uncommunicative animals. They may ask for affection occasionally, but will spend most of their time alone. They will not tolerate a minute of stroking and scratching. This aspect is worth considering for those people who have small kids. Number five, many cats, and especially tomcats, like to define their territory by peeing, and not only during the love period. The unpleasant smell of cat urine can bring out even the most patient owner. It can be challenging to dissuade a cat from such activity. Conclusion, a cat can be an ideal option for quiet introverts, busy people, the elderly, or oddly enough, lazy people. The pros and cons of dogs. Now it's time to talk about dogs. These companion animals, like cats, have their advantages and weaknesses. Let's start by taking a look at some pros. Number one, dogs are faithful animals. It's enough to remember the stories about Fido or Hatiko's loyalty. By having a friendly relationship with your puppy, you can be sure that your pet will be a truly faithful friend to the very end. It must be challenging to find another creature that is so selflessly and sincerely attached to a human. Number two, dog walking is an excellent exercise for a master. Yes, the need to get up and go outside in the heat and cold may seem like a waste of time. However, daily walks in the fresh air are good for the owner, or rather his heart, blood vessels, respiratory organs, and brain. Number three, dogs are real hard workers. They can serve as rescuers, shepherds, hunters, or rather helpers of hunters, guides, even geologists. Besides, dogs can even be considered as doctors. They help fight depression and loneliness, have a positive effect on people with Down syndrome and autism. Number four, dogs are not only gatekeepers, but also guards. It can be much safer with them to go out late at night. You can't afford to do that with a cat. Even the most subtle dog can scare away enemies by starting barking, not to mention the big dog. 
Cat meowing won't scare anybody. Well-trained dogs are also excellent babysitters for kids. They love to play with babies without being aggressive. As we already mentioned, cats will not last long to play with. Although dogs have plenty of advantages, they are not without drawbacks. Here are some of them. Number one, taking care of a dog is an energy consuming matter. What's worth washing is paws after a walk every day and the need for regular baths. And if your pet also has long hair, it's worth mentioning the frequent combing. Unfortunately, not all dogs are clean, so the owner may have to wipe their pet's eyes and face every day after meals. Number two, a dog can embarrass its owner by making a pile in the wrong place. For example, in the driveway, or by busting or even biting a neighbor. Of course, this mainly applies to dogs who are not properly raised and well behaved, but still. Number three, one of the possible drawbacks of a dog in an apartment is minor troubles in the form of damaging furniture, shoes, and other interior details. But it's important to remember that the dog isn't doing this to piss you off or because he doesn't like boats. The reason is that they are extremely bored. Put yourself in their place. Your owner has left you at home, it is unclear when they will return, and whether they will return at all. And only you started to yearn when suddenly you noticed the sofa. Oh, how fun, you can spend time on it. That's about the logic in a dog's head. Number four, going on holiday is also unlikely to work out. You have to decide where your dog will be staying in your absence, with your parents, friends, or in a special hotel. But you can't just bring your dog to your friend's family and leave them there for a week. It is better to arrange several meetings beforehand so that the dog and your family can get to know each other and get used to each other. All this requires a lot of time and energy, and in the case of a hotel, money. Number five, you will need to adjust your schedule to the dog. Leaving early in the morning and coming back at midnight is a bad idea if you have a pet. Some experts think it's best not to leave your dog alone for longer than eight to 10 hours, as well as they need to be fed and walked by someone. These pets can't stand being alone. Conclusion. A dog is suitable for people who have extra free time on their hands and are patient and active enough with a moderately tough character. It is also good to think about buying a four-legged pet for those owners who maybe live alone and want a reliable friend and protector. Are you a dog person or cat person? Answer in a comment section or maybe share your experience and tips with these lovely animals. Thanks for watching.